Hi, my name is Greg Medour, and today I'll be showing you some tips and tricks on programming Beofang BF888S radio using Chirp. Uh, these radios can be purchased from uh, Amazon, for example. Uh, as you can see here, there's tw a pack of 20 of them, $169.99 plus tax. And of course, if you're a uh, uh, Amazon Prime member, you can get uh, free shipping. So um, just an example. So first thing, of course, you have to do is you have to be able to download Chirp. Uh, best thing, best way to find it, to be quite candid, is to go to bing.com and type in right here, type in uh, Chirp software. And then you click right here on the download. And then you're going to come down here and download the win latest Windows version or Mac if you're using the Mac version. In this case, I already have it installed on my system. Um, so one of the things that you need to know, uh, you'll have to have a programming cable, of course, for your radio. Each radio is a little bit different. Uh, the Baofeng radios, they tend to have a standardized cable, except for some of the newer models. They have a, have, have a cable that's... Uh, uh, not like one you would use for a UV5R or for the BF888S. Um, next thing you need to know about these particular radios is, and this programming cable, is you need to know specifically what COM port it is that Chirp you're going to need to select in the Chirp software. So to do that, you literally go to this PC and you go to Device Manager. Once you're in Device Manager, what you're going to do is you're going to come down here and you're going to look for ports right here. Click on Port, and you see where it says USB Serial Com Port Com there, right, three. You, you're going to need to note that, so just make a note of that. Okay. Once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to find your Chirp software and you're going to launch your Chirp software. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to have your radio and I'm going to encourage you to take that radio is to re actually remove the antenna. Reason is, is you do not want any interference from that antenna um, incoming transmission uh, when you're doing this programming. So I'm going to take this standard Baofeng cable. I've already plugged it in the computer obviously. I'm going to plug it into the radio here and then I'm going to turn it on. Volume setting doesn't really matter at this point. Come up here on the Chirp software, select Radio, D Download from Radio. I do this every single time, every radio uh, that I do. I always download the so download the the settings from the radio first. Depending on how many channels you have in the radio, it may take longer. In this particular case, there's only 16 channels, right? So the first thing I do once I download it is I do a file save. And I pick that. I it will default to that setting. You can do that. Um, sometimes I'll put. It uh, just depends on what you want to do. But uh, you can use that date format. If you don't like that date format, you want to use today's date format. Uh, you know, like that month, day, year. And you can change that. And then uh, radio. Uh, and I typically do uh, old, so I know. It's the what the original setting was on the radio, and then I hit save. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a settings file that I have that has all the frequencies in it that I need. That would be this one right here by default. This happens to be um, you can click and highlight all those rows. Um, these are the FRS frequencies. You can click and highlight the rows, or you can click on location one, hit Control A on a Windows machine, and then Control C to copy. I'm going to come back over here to what I read in from the radio. Click on location one, hit Control V, say yes to overwrite the location. You notice it did not overwrite the location memory, location 16. The reason is it's actually blank in this other config. Didn't need it. There were only fifth, you know, X number of frequencies and I didn't need it. So to delete that frequency, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to hit delete. Next thing I'm going to do, file save as again. 
I'm going to click on what I what I saved a while ago, and I'm just going to change this and say, set it as new. Now, some people say, well, why in the world do you do that? Well, the reason why I do that is simply this. The firmware between the different radios, can it can be different. Um, and this way, I know for certain I'm reading the firmware off of the existing radio, and then I'm taking the frequency pro channels, the programming, and I'm dropping it into the the settings that for that specific radio. And I always save the before, I save the after, right? Once I save it, I'm going to come up to radio, and I'm going to say upload to radio. Make sure it still says has the right COM port. In this case, COM3, Bayafang, BF888. Notice it's only 16 channels, so memory location, so really, really quick. Right? Uh, at this point, that's pretty much it. You're ready to, of course, turn off the radio before you unplug the cable. Unplug, unplug that cable with the radio off, put the antenna back on it, and then you're ready to turn the radio on. Power on. What? And that, this, on this particular radio course, um, that's channel one, so you would be talking on a frequency of 462.7125. And that, that dial right here, you just turn that one dial, and that's what changes the channel to the different channels for you. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative, and please feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Uh, Press the like and subscribe button if you uh, like the video, and you can always click the bell to be alerted for uh, new uh, video uh, uploads. Thank you.